Hey everyone, this is Tim McDonald from Climate Desk. We had some huge climate change news come out of the White House this weekend, and I'm here to explain to you what you need to know about it. President Obama unveiling the single biggest step that any president has ever taken to address climate change. And this boils down to really tackling greenhouse gas emissions from the energy sector, the power sector. Coal-fired power plants are the single biggest source of carbon dioxide emissions that cause climate change in the whole country, even more than cars and trucks. But as of this weekend, there were no federal limits at all about how much carbon dioxide emissions could come from those plants. So what the president has done is to set for each state in the country a special target for how much they have to reduce their carbon emissions. Overall, these things are going to add up to about a 32% reduction by 2030. And the way that's going to happen is that a lot of states are going to have to close coal-fired power plants, use them less, maybe retrofit them um, with new technology to help clean them up. There's going to be a lot of construction of wind and solar and other clean energy sources. And states are also going to be really going after energy efficiency, so trying to get more bang from the buck. The other significant thing about this package is that it's the kind of main thing that the president is offering to the rest of the world for the big UN climate summit that's coming up in Paris later this year. So we have promised other countries that by 2027 we're going to have reduced uh, carbon emissions across the board in the US by about 26 to 28 percent. And the plan that was just announced today is the biggest kind of piece of how we're going to keep that promise to the rest of the world. So this was a big step forward for the U.S. on climate change, but the battle isn't over yet. Even before the rules were released, we saw a lot of fierce opposition to this proposed plan from um, some Republican lawmakers, some power companies, coal companies. And so we can definitely expect to see, um, pretty much immediately after these rules come out, a series of legal challenges. Some experts think this could go all the way to the Supreme Court. You're going to see a lot of opposition to this um, before the rules are implemented. So the battle is far from over. In the meantime, I'm Tim McDonald. Stay tuned to me and to Climate Desk for more on this developing story.